Welcome back to the second episode of our series, Protecting Workers with Occupational Health. Last week, we talked about the importance of receiving an annual flu shot, so be sure to check out our channel if you missed it. This week, we're focused on hearing health. Surveys conducted by the Bureau of Labor Statistics showed that occupational hearing loss is the most commonly recorded occupational illness, accounting for one out of every nine recordable illnesses. 72% of those cases involve workers in manufacturing. For a hearing illness to be OSHA recordable, the hearing loss must be determined to be work-related and the hearing loss must be severe enough for the worker to be classified as hearing impaired. From offices to factories to outdoor job sites, workers at every level should understand the permissible exposure level, or PEL, to noise as recognized by OSHA. OSHA's PEL is 90 decibels for an eight-hour day. The OSHA standard uses a 5 decibel exchange rate, which means when the noise level increases by 5 decibels, the amount of time a person can be exposed to noise at that level to receive the same exposure is cut in half. Hearing protection can take the form of engineering controls, administrative controls, and the use of personal protective equipment. Engineering controls could include enclosing the space where the noise is being generated. If that's not feasible, an administrative control could be setting strict times so that the use of the most noise-generating machinery or equipment coincides with when the facility has the lowest number of workers present, thus reducing the number of individuals exposed. Finally, if hazards to employees can't be fully abated through engineering and administrative controls, employers must provide adequate personal protective equipment to eliminate the noise hazard to workers. Hearing PPE includes noise-canceling headphones or earmuffs and earplugs. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, created an app that allows users to measure the level of noise in their workplace. This tool is great for evaluating the level of noise to which you are exposed. For additional knowledge and protection, NIOSH and OSHA recommend an annual medical hearing evaluation to ensure your hearing protection is working. At SCT, we can protect your hearing on all fronts. Head over to SCTsupply.com to find dozens of PPE options, and then call us to schedule your annual hearing test for you or your employees. We're truly your one-stop shop for occupational health. Thanks for joining us for this installment of Protecting Workers with Occupational Health. I'll see you next week when we talk about OSHA's silica standard and the importance of respiratory protection and testing. Bye!